really praise them. I can really praise the Lord for looking after us and, and keeping his hand on us. Um, uh, it's been quite a while now, uh, walking on in the Lord, you know, and it's been such such a great um, blessing, you know, to, to, to know that, that I've spent nearly, you know, I was 24 when I came to the Lord and I'm 73 on Monday. <laughs> and you think to yourself, you know, we, we've always had that reassurance from the Lord that no matter what you go through, no matter what you, um, situation you're in, that the Lord always has his hand on you. And, you know, that, um, that our prayers are not, um, sent out void that we know that the Lord's listening. And, and, uh, yeah, as I say, I got baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, about 50, nearly 50 years now. And what a blessing uh, it's been since then. Um, you know, just lately we've been having, um, a, you know, a few difficulties. You know, Tony hasn't been very well and Paul Louise and myself, all three of us have been suffering one way or another. And, uh, you know, we find it very hard financially this year. And, you know, but, you know, we know that no matter what, the Lord will never have us begging for bread if we put him first. And I really praise the Lord that he's there to heal our bodies and heal our souls and, and our mind, too, because sometimes when you're going through a hard time, your mind plays havoc with you and you start thinking all sorts of negative thoughts and uh, like Pastor Anthony said the other week you know sometimes it's better for us not to do things like watch the news of that because so many people are suffering from depression you know I, um, I've been sort of trying to get hold of a couple of cousins of mine that you can see their lives are falling apart but you know it it you could offer them anything, you know, and they grab hold of it, but offer, the, offer them the Lord and they don't seem to want to know, you know. So, yeah, short, sharp and shiny. I just want to thank the Lord for looking after us. Amen. Amen. Last minute, you see. And you find And you see, sorry. Alrighty, um, going to uh, look at one chapter today. I'm going to do things a bit different to how I normally do. Um, I'm looking through Psalms, and uh, this chapter caught my eye, and I couldn't get past it. <laughs> so that's what they're doing. Bit of a Bible study, um, but it's an important, I think, lesson. Um, and I think the lesson mostly is, uh, you know, we can get a little bit envious a little bit of people. We can kind of get a little bit um, worried about people around about us who perhaps aren't following ways of God um, and the, the perhaps successes that they can have. Uh, if you want to go to Psalms chapter 73, Psalms chapter 73, uh, I'll just call it Psalm chapter 73, but you can do a different topic to um, Okay, so yeah, and it's easy, isn't it, to, uh, to look around um, and look at people who perhaps have... Um, uh, 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 aren't necessarily doing things by the by the way of the Lord, and perhaps uh, uh, um, it seems from where you're standing and looking at them from a uh, uh, from your point of view that you know that their their evil is not being is not being punished or that it's, it's not being rewarded, and um, or that it, or that it is being rewarded, um, uh, uh, and it can kind of get you down a little bit, can kind of uh, uh, deflate you sometimes, um, and we've got to be careful that we that, that we don't let that happen. Um, uh, I think one of the uh, things to think about to go through this is that we never know the full picture of what someone's going through. We see what they want us to see, and that's it. And 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 that goes with us, you know. We we all have a barrier. We all have something something that we put up as as a front, and uh, that's a normal thing. Um, but you know, you see, it can be easier. So we read through this sometimes. Perhaps you've never thought about this, but sometimes this kind of thinking may slip through, and maybe it's not necessarily this, and maybe it's something else that is not. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 um, good for our walk, so hopefully we can start getting into a way of thinking that can be a bit negative, I suppose. And we'll start in verse 1. <clears throat> Truly God is good to Israel, um, even to such as are of, of a clean heart. 
But as for me, my uh, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish uh, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Um, and uh, and again, it can be pretty easy uh, when, you, when you look at the success, especially of the rich and powerful, and um, you see the the evil things that they can get away with. Not not necessarily everyone who's rich, but usually rich and power usually ends up with with some sort of corruption there. Um, and uh, but it's not necessarily just the rich and powerful. Though. It could be just your boss at work, or the guy next door, or perhaps it's uh, uh, someone else who, um, who, you, who you're looking at, who is everything seems to be going right, um, but they're not doing anything right um, according to the Lord. Um, and we can, we can we can let that thought enter our minds a little bit, and we're going to look at the author here, Asaph. Asaph, I think, um, is the guy here. I was going to look at his 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 way of thinking and the way he kind of looked at things for a bit. So we're going to have a, a little bit of reading here in verse four. Uh, for there are no bands in their death, uh, but their strength is firm. Uh, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Um, uh, uh, they have more than heart could wish. Uh, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Um, they speak loftily. Uh, uh, they that uh, they set their mouth against the heavens, uh, um, uh, and their tongue or walketh through the earth. Uh, therefore, his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out uh, are wrung out to them. And they say, "How does God know? Uh, um, uh, and is there knowledge in the in the most high?" Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world and increase in riches. Um, and um, uh, it's, it's this doesn't speak to everybody out there. There's people, as, as you heard in the testimony today, you know, people, um, people struggle all the time. Um, and I think that's really going to be uh, um, uh, uh, one of the thoughts that we can uh, uh, look at with people. But I was going to go through some of the things that he says here. Um, and it can appear sometimes to uh, 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 that people who aren't doing the right thing can be doing well. Um, they can appear strong and confident. Um, uh, they can appear to dodge trouble um, and um, and to avoid uh, judgment. Violence is easy for them. And in this world, more and more, it's becoming unpunished. And as we know, in this world that we live in, um, uh, uh, that the good is bad and the bad is good and the good is punished and the bad is, bad is actually badly rewarded. And as we get further and further, or closer and closer, should I say, to the Lord's return, um, unfortunately, it's going to probably it's, it's going to abound more and more. Where um, it, 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 it seems like the the violence and the, and the evil that people go uh, that people have in their hearts, um, uh, 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 that, that, that that's going to continue. They have um, that they appear to have wealth and power. Uh, the ways are corrupt, and they can speak evil to others without any backlash. Um, and the way that they treat people, you know, can seem a little bit uh, off or, or bad, or they don't seem to care, they don't seem to have a conscience, um, and um, um, they uh, uh, they uh, they blaspheme the Lord and His power, and can and continue to seemingly continue to uh, to to move forward. Uh, they are ungodly, yet they seem to prosper, um, and. Uh, that can be sometimes our thinking of, of the world, and there's a lot of wealth out there, there's a lot of power out there, there's a lot of uh, uh, things that happen, uh, um, uh, good things are going to happen to uh, both people out in the world and people in the Lord. You know, it's, it's, it's no difference, we've got to keep that in mind. Um, and and this next <clears throat> few verses can sometimes be where our thinking ends up if we don't catch ourselves and we don't uh, uh, find ourselves in, in, the right, in the right time. And... Um, uh, as we read on, we'll see uh, what the best outcome is for this. Uh, but in verse uh, 13, um, Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. Uh, for all the day long have I been plagued and, uh, and chastened, uh, chastened every morning. Uh, if I say I will speak thus, behold, um, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Um, and you know, we can sometimes wallow in our own misery, perhaps sometimes, and, that, and again, that, that's natural. You know, we're all human, and we go through uh, problems. Um, and um, you know, sometimes we can think, "What's the point of our sacrifice? You know, what's the point of what we do? Why we do what we do? Why do we do these things for?" Um, you know, we seem, we seem to still have trouble. We seem to uh, we seem to still have issues in our lives. 
and yet from a surface level, it seems like these people have no no problems at all. Um, and if we do wrong against others, it hurts because we have a conscience, we care, and we uh, and we want to make amends of that. Um, uh, but we know the scriptures say that the conscience are seared with a hot iron, and it's more and more happening. And uh, you look at the, uh, especially the children uh, that are growing up. Um, uh, uh, there's no more. Well, there was very little in way of um, uh, um, 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 uh, 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 punishment for for bad deeds. Or there's there's no one that they can um, uh, uh, that will uh, check them if they're doing wrong. There's no one who will there guide them into what is right and wrong. Um, and are growing up with with, with seemingly no um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know. But when we were mostly kids, you know, we done the wrong thing. We'll get a little, get a smack. We'll get a little, a little clip across the ear, and um, uh, the older folks may have got more than that. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, uh, uh, but nowadays, it, it's, it's nothing like that. You know, you can actually go to jail if you do that, and if 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 you um, if, if the teacher wants to uh, um, uh, cause trouble, and that's the kind of world we're living in now. Um, uh, and their their conscience uh, seared the hot iron, and and yet they seem to be doing okay, and. What's it all for? Why do we do what we do? Um, and I think the clincher verse here is in verse 17, um, the great little verse here. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Mm. And we can go through trouble, we can go through problem, problems, we can go through our, our mindset can be a little bit twisted or we can kind of be looking at people with envy or maybe we just think, you know, why can't we have that? Um, but we go back to the sanctuary of God and get that peace, and we get that understanding, and we get that um, uh, uh, um, uh, that love, and we get that peace of mind from the from the sanctuary of the Lord. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly go back to verse two just to put it put it in perspective of what um, uh, um, um, Asaph was saying here. Uh, verse two it says here, but as for me, my feet were almost gone; my steps had well nigh slipped. So he's talking on behalf of someone who let them let their walk slip a little bit, mm -hmm. um, whatever that means, whether they stop praying or stop reading or whatever it is, whatever they stopped uh, thinking about the Lord or maybe the love of the, of the Lord had, had, had waxed cold a little bit. Um, and sometimes it can be hard to, to look at ourselves and think that we've slipped, but there's always going to be signs and if we look at ourselves and we, and we make sure that we, um, that we do put ourselves up to, uh, um, to what the Lord expects, <clears throat> uh, we can sometimes see that. And in this case, it could be that, uh, um, we start to view the world in a negative light. We start to view ourselves or perhaps uh, the fellowship in a negative light and we can start seeing that our walk is slipping a little bit. If we do that, good times, it says here, um, uh, and to um, to go back to the sanctuary of God, go back to the fellowship, go back to the prayer, go back to uh, um, a, a fellowship with one another, go back to the good things. Um, even just simple uh, prayer can really put you back on track and mm -hmm. uh, you know there's been times when my thinking has had been wrong because i should stop praying so that, that, that that first prayer had put me back on track and put my mind back on the right path again and um it's a good it's a good place to be uh, verse 17 i think is, is, a, is a real good one to, to think about um the um uh, you know they may have something that we don't have they may have cars and and money and party lifestyle and maybe they're, they're into the drugs and that it doesn't seem to harm them or anything like that. Um, but we have something that they can never earn. We have something that they can never steal, something that they can never purchase. And there's no amount of corruption on this earth, no matter how powerful or, or, or rich you are, you can never take this from someone um, who's got the Holy Spirit. You can never uh, take it from the Lord. You can never steal it from the Lord. Um, and what we have is far more valuable than anything that they'll ever have. And, um, uh, they uh, they end regardless of what happens um, here on earth, regardless of how powerful and how successful or rich or or, or how bad unfortunately things are for them. Uh, um, if they're not following after the ways of the Lord, their end is death um, and, and judgment. Our end, regardless of what happens here, if we walk on, will be everlasting life. And mm -hmm. now, whether we do have a bit of money or we do have um, uh, um, uh, 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 things are going well or things are going bad. Um, but the thing, as, as I heard in the testimony, uh, I've a pretty good testimony about um, about what, what this is from Sandra. Things can all seem to be going wrong, but if you keep going, uh, looking to the Lord and you keep uh, 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 doing the ways of the Lord, he will never uh, leave us without meat, he will never leave us without bread, and he will always look after us. And um, uh, if we know that what we have is worth so much. Uh, verse 18, 
Um, surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest uh, them down into destruction. Um, how are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with uh, terrors. As a dream, when one wakes, so, O Lord, when thou, uh, thou wakest, thou shalt despise their image. Um, and uh, you know, we're not looking forward to people's destruction. We're not saying this because we want this to happen to people at all. Uh, we want to see them uh, uh, come to the Lord and have been right with God. But this is what's going to happen when they go down the wrong path and we go down um, whatever successes they may have. And there will be destruction in the path, whether it's going to be in this life or whether it's going to be in the next. They're going to meet the end in, in the end and they're going to um, have that judgment. Um, uh, in the end, God is the ultimate power. Uh, their God in, in, is a thing as well, money, power, pleasure. It's a very sensual world that we're living in and everything we do is surrounded by our senses and it's, it's there to to please that and not to please it. Like it, it, it's very rare now you get people who look after their neighbours, who who look after the people um, around them. It's all about me and that me generation that happened um I think it was like in the 90s or something when that me generation started, wasn't it? Where that book, I think it was a book that came out that started it all. It was about all about me kind of thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Should have looked that up. Uh, verse 21. Uh, Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. Uh, so foolish was I, and ignorant I was as a beast before thee. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Um, and we can, can get in when we kind of catch ourselves, you know, we kind of cop onto ourselves, as our saying goes. Um, uh, uh, we can maybe get a little bit down on ourselves and get a little bit uh, upset with ourselves. And that's fine. Again, you know, that's, a, that's a, a very human thing to do. But we don't stay there. We don't dwell there. We move on. And, 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 and we, 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 we put ourselves on that right path. Like I said, just simple prayer can do that. Um, uh, um, uh, um, reaching out to, uh, to the pastor or to your brethren or whoever it is, um, someone that you're comfortable with, so it's a good thing to do. Um, in the end, he will guide us and he will direct us uh, uh, through the Holy Spirit. Um, uh, uh, and again, it's, it's something we have, um, uh, uh, we already know what, what the end goal for us is going to be. We, we, we've looked into the looking glass of, of, of the future and we know what's going to happen. It's just the interim part that we've got to make sure that we're going to keep going down that path and that we're going to keep going and, and getting that and, and letting the Holy Spirit um, uh, uh, guide us. He will raise us up. And at the end, uh, I will be changed. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, in verse um, 24, thou shalt guide me with thy counsel uh, and afterwards receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Um, and... Um, as it says, he will raise us up. He will, he, he will, he will um, get us out of trouble if we're in trouble. He will get us through. Um, in the end, we're going to shed this corruptible body and we're going to get an incorruptible body and incorruptible family and incorruptible father and incorruptible life in the end. And uh, it doesn't matter what happens on here. That's not going to change that fact as long as we keep going on. And once we have that, no one can take that away from us at all. We have that, and we've got something so good to uh, look forward to. Um, uh, uh, um, um, we're we're far more, we're far richer than what people can see. You know, we have so much more than what people can understand, and um, uh, that's what we try to make them understand. Uh, we we continue to desire to do what the Lord uh, uh, to uh, uh, do uh, uh, um, things for the Lord and seek after Him, but you know we're going to fail. You know we're going to. I go through, as it says there, um, <clears throat> my flesh and my heart faileth, in verse 26, but God is the strength of my heart. He's the one who will, he will, he will help us and guide us, and he's the one who will, he will help us continue to the end. <clears throat> and we know Barry's favourite scripture, where it talks about the birds of the uh, field, you know, that the, the, that the Lord can clothe them. Um, uh, sorry, the, um, uh, the, hey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, I've forgotten that. But yeah, you know the scripture where you know uh, uh, the Lord can do anything for us. He can help us. He can, he can, he, he can uh, um, uh, raise up anything to to give us our, our needs and our wants and mm -hmm. and and the things that we desire. Uh, verse twenty seven here. For lo, they uh, are they that are far from thee shall perish. Uh, thou hast destroyed all uh, all them that go um, that go boring from thee. And again, this isn't something that we that we're kind of looking for. 
F1 are going to get their end and they're going to get their draft and certs. We don't want that. We want them to 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 have the good things of the Lord and to seek after the good things of the Lord. But 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 we've got to remember that that, that is their end. Whatever we're looking at we're through people, you know, and don't get envious of that. Don't get um uh, um uh, into that into that frame of mind because um, it's not helpful at all. And I think it's a really good verse here, verse twenty eight. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, and I, I that I may declare all thy works. Um, and um, um, it is good for us to draw near to God. Uh, don't draw near to these things that the people out there will try to make us draw near to. Um, there's a lot of distractions out there. <clears throat> there's a lot of things that can take us away. Uh, but we need to continually declare his works where we can. Um, and, and we need to try to build ourselves up and uh, try to embolden ourselves can be difficult. But, you know, life has a way of sidetracking us. Life has a way of taking our attention away from us sometimes if, if we let it um, uh, from that, which is good. Um, but know what God has done for us and and, and what is waiting for us. And uh, I know that we are better than anything down here. We, we, are, we are richer than a millionaire, as the song goes. Um, everyone has issues and um, everyone has fears and, we we're, we're very very clued on to how we feel and the problems that we go through and the issues we go through and because we live them and, and 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 we feel them every day and every hour every second of the day um and no doubt these people that sometimes maybe not us but you know sometimes people can look at people enviously they're going to have problems you know everyone's going to have problems everyone's going to have their fears and you hear about people who win motto and they think that they say that their problems never ended. You know, they still had their problem. They still had the trouble. Okay, they had the money, but they still had their problems. They still had their uh, other things going on. Um, uh, uh, so we need to have that um, uh, that love for people, not envy. You know, we have to have love for people to be able to help them and and hopefully speak to them. And hopefully they 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 come along. Um, uh, uh, as I said, we are privileged. We are. Uh, 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 in, in a very privileged position and we're richer than anyone can imagine in the end God is the ultimate judge as my name Daniel means God is my judge um, and he has judged us righteous and we just need to uh, keep continuing to the end no matter what happens in the earth and uh, don't let anything take that uh, take that joy away from us and I'll be said Amen, Amen. 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 Back to Pastor Anthony Thanks sir